The debate over short-term vacation rentals on Tybee Island could be soon coming to an end. It's been more than a year since the city put a freeze on new permits for short-term rentals. Later this week, City Council will discuss a proposed ordinance with new rules for property owners. WSAV's Brian Ray is joining us in the newsroom now with what this could mean for the island's future. Well, Benantina, that moratorium first put into place in August of 2021 was meant to last just 90 days. It's now set to expire at the end of October after a third extension. On Thursday, City Council will hold a public hearing to discuss that proposed ordinance for short-term vacation rentals before officially voting on it. Tybee City leaders say short-term vacation rentals make up more than 40 percent of total properties on the island. The moratorium on new permits was first put into place so the city could look at issues like parking and infrastructure demands. More than a year later, Mayor Shirley Sessions says she's ready to finish debating the issue and focus on other city business. Hopefully the council will agree on the ordinance that will be something that everyone will be able to live with. I certainly don't think by any means it will be something that everybody is going to agree on and want. It's an issue some residents say has created tension in the community. In the ordinance is a proposal to put a ban on new short-term rental licenses for properties that don't already have them. It would only apply to those in three residential zoning areas. One of them includes a large portion of the South End. If you were unable to get it before the moratorium happened or you're building a home or bought a lot to build on, this is going to affect you because you're not going to be able to get a rental license and that could be pretty devastating as properties are selling in the future. It would also require rental properties to have one parking spot per bedroom plus one more. Rental owners themselves say any change to the rules, big or small, will be felt. We're going to see a really profound impact on uh, rentals in the near future because as the number of rentals declines, there would certainly be an increase in prices on the rentals that remain and exist. Mayor Sessions says rewriting the rules for short-term rentals stem from complaints about noise and overcrowding, and the goal is to improve quality of life. This is a residential community, and we would ask that people be respectful of that and would really love for people to live here full-time. Now, City Council will officially vote on the ordinance on October 13th. The public hearing for this Thursday is scheduled to start at 6.30. It's happening at the Public Safety Building on 78 Van Horn Avenue. In the newsroom, Brian Ray, WSAV News 3, on your side. Brian, thank you.